John with Optrix here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about how to use the Optrix Video Pro app. Now, the Video Pro app is one of our coolest features because it allows you to add things like mile per hour, track map, G-Force right on your video. It's kind of a world first for action video, smart video as we call it. So here I'm sharing my screen. I'm going to touch the Video Pro app. It comes up in landscape mode. Now we're just going to hit I agree to that. Of course, only if you agree. This is where you're going to see a list of recorded videos. Now, I don't actually have any videos recorded here because I want to show you how the whole process works. So I'm going to take my finger. I'm going to either touch on that little kind of camera feature. It's going to take you over into the overlay. So let me take my finger away here. Now, you're going to get this. Um, you want to make sure that you have everything mounted. And once you have your, your iPhone and your Optrix XT5 or 4 mounted where you want, you're going to hit hit continue. So we'll just set this up right here. So the screen, screen kind of fades in and out so you can touch anywhere on the screen to kind of get it to come back a little bit. It's going to dim so you can see what you're shooting. Here you can see you've got your G-force circle. Each one of these rings is about 0.5 of a G. Your mile per hour, uh, your running time, your lap time. And then over here you're actually going to get a track map. So this is actually going to be a fairly unexciting video but if I touch in the middle You're going to see the video recording has started. You're going to see a green square there. You say, hi, Optrix Fish. So here you see the time. Now, it doesn't go up smoothly when it's recording, but when it plays back, it's going to, of course, be smooth. This is just displaying kind of preliminary data as it's recording. You see that's flashing and recording. This up here, let's talk about this real quickly. When you're shooting with an iPhone, it's actually really important to get stable video that you use this focus lock. And we'll actually talk about that a little more in another video. Uh, right here, you actually have your GPS signal strength. We don't have great GPS signal strength right now, but hopefully the video will work regardless. So now I'm going to stop the video. And then you're going to click on this over here, which is the video list. Here's the latest video. You see the time. It's a good way to know what your latest video was. And hopefully you'll get this little uh, preview window here. So if you want to overlay it, you touch on that, and you scroll all the way down, and here's the video. Now to overlay it, you can click overlay. If you just want to play it and review it, you can just hit play. Now when the videos are recorded, they're all actually going to be dumped into your photo album, so make sure you allow the Video Pro app access to your photos. If you didn't do that, you're going to get some errors. It's a super easy fix, we go through it in another video. But you want to make sure that you have access to your photo album, and it's going to dump a raw copy of the video there. So, if you want to overlay it, you hit overlay. Unfortunately, the overlay process is a bit of a, of a time-consuming process, and it takes sometimes uh, equal to or double the video time to actually overlay the data. This is because we're doing a ton of number crunching and adding all those things with the HD video. It's a lot for the processor and the iPhone to handle. So, if you've got a video that's longer, you want to make sure you're plugged in and you don't disturb your iPhone while it's doing this. We've done our best to make sure it's foolproof, but it's easiest to just set your iPhone down, leave it alone, and come back when it's finished. When it's all finished, you're going to see transferring video. Now it says video overlaid, and you can see up here you've got your video. So if I hit play now, it's playing with the data here. Obviously there's no mile per hour because we're not actually traveling anywhere. And this green dot shows that we are stationary the whole time. Now if we were in a car, uh, that would be moving around. Of course there's tons of videos on our YouTube channel that you can actually see this app at work. But that's the, the kind of the simple aspects of how to use the Video Pro app. It's a really, really cool way to add kind of interest and features to your video. It can be used for just about every sport from, you know, motocross, motorsports to, to skiing and biking. If you have any other questions on this app, you can always visit the support page on our website, optrix.com.